Hello everybody, this is Frogman, and welcome back to Ultimate Alchemy. This is going to be episode number 22, I believe. Last episode we got started then to, if we only, the deeping diver, diving deeper into Thomcraft. We got the alchemical construct system going on with the Thaumatorium and the cauldron over there. And we got our first Ascensia smeltery and our first arcane alimbic. I want to do a little bit more progress with this thing so that we can get some more of the goodies coming out of it. So I did go ahead and kind of wander around and do all the scan, all the things around the area. So we should have a few things if we need to be able to unlock some stuff. So uh, we don't need any of this at this moment. Let's get over to here. We're going to have to unlock this eventually, and I think I'm going to have to unlock that as well. So what I want to do first off is I want to work on these two pieces right here, which are the filling and the emptying Essentia transfuser thingies. Uh, these are going to make it very handy for when we smelt something in this. It will go automatically into the jars without having to be played around with the pipes. Pipes used to be a lot of fun. I used to build really big, gigantic pipe systems that had automatic routing and all that kind of stuff in them. I, I don't do that anymore ever since this happened. So we're going to look at the, at least the, I think it's the, this one. Emptying sense tube just does the opposite. By drawing sense from jars within range and placing within tubes or device required. So I need the filling, filling, the filling essentially can take essentially directly from a pipe network or other essentia source and transport it to jars with jars within 16 blocks of the direction it is facing. So we need the filling thingy majigger. Which is going to be a dispenser, brass plates, iron plates. So we need to go ahead and make some more brass plates. Which I'm getting a little short on brass plates, but that's okay. One, two. Do we have any more iron plates? Yes, we do. One, two. And I think that was great wood. Grab some more of that. And a dispenser. Which I have on a, okay, and well then the construct. That wasn't going to be too terribly hard. Um, filling. I didn't need any great wood. I just needed that done. Okay, cool. So we can put you away, and let's get some jars. Uh, let's see. Regular warded jars, void jars, brain in a jar. Void jars I don't really need at this point. Those are just going to be a lot of wood and a lot of glass. So let's see. Glass, panes. We have a few plus we have, uh, I'm going to make a bunch. I usually make a bunch of jars. That's going to be sufficient for now. And wood slabs. We have 27. If I can get 27 jars, I will be happy. Go well, like that. Thank you. And do some more of this. I don't know how many jars I'm going to need. Probably not very many, knowing how this system is going to be working. It's not like I'm going to spend a lot of time playing through Thomcraft. So let's just get as many of those jars as we can. Okay, 22 warded jars. Yay, hooray. And what's the labels? I forget. What did the labels take to make? The labels are just dye, slime balls, and paper. Craft me a stack of paper, please. That should be enough. All right. So we're going to work on building this thing out over into this general area. So the filling Essentia transfuser is going to go on that side of the Alembic, which means it has the ability to see things 16 blocks that direction. So that's everything over here. I would like to do the general thing of one, two, three, five, six. Give me my jar back, please. And then we're going to do back one. Something about like that. Two and then come back forward. Two. Just to make it nice and pretty. Cool. So that'll work for the moment. Actually, let's go ahead and make sure that's even. And then we have two extra ones in case. So what we're going to do is we're going to start running things through this guy. However, we're going to also make a couple of the extra things to make it a little bit better. So there are two different ways to make the Essentia distillation work better as far as the system is concerned. The first thing I want is a bellows. 
which I think I can just craft outright. No, I need uh, wood. Okay, whatever. So let's see. We need wood. Go ahead and make a bunch of wood. I don't know why I do that. It's just so slow. Give me a bunch of wood. Thank you. Leather that we just made. And some iron. Cool. All right. Iron, iron, iron bellows. So let's make at least two of these guys because I believe one of these recipes is going to need this. Plus, I'm going to want one. Uh, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I want two of those, please. All right. So one of those is going to go on the bottom of this for right now. You're going to go into this area facing that direction. Okay, and that's going to help speed up the action of this thing. They're already pretty quick as it is, but I just want to make sure that he has as much speed in him as possible. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to cover the sides with as many of the other things as possible to try to keep it from making as much flux as possible. So, uh, I need some more alchemical constructs. That's an arcane bellows. And the next thing is, do we just make one of these? So I have discovered a way to make magic flux by turning like the soy pumps. Events need to be placed on the side of the smelters. Produce process will reduce flux by about a third, and additional vents will increase this, though there are diminishing returns. So I basically want to make two of those and two of these, I think. No. I want one of those and three of those, and we need some more Alembics. So let me get to crafting on that, and I will see what we can come up with. It's not too terribly hard. Let's see. Uh, this is going to be that thing. So I want one of those. I need a filtered essential tube and another alchemical construct. So let's just go get our tubes back. All of those tubes. Where are the levers? Make like, I don't know, eight of them, please. That should be fine. Uh, filters. And great wood. And um, let me see. Construct. Was a construct take to make? Constructs take to make all of that stuff. So I just need one of those. So I'm looking in the wrong interface. Construct. We're going to need a couple more of these. So let's just go ahead and do one, two, three, four of those. Plus that. I need some more iron plates. Did I not make any more iron plates? Plenty of iron plates. Uh, construct. There we go. One, two. Cool. All right. And then this guy I went to make a... Now, what am I doing? Uses. Use on this. Okay, whatever. Use on you, sir. We're trying to make the improved slurry pump. Okay. Slurry pumps should be nothing more than a little bit more brass plates. We need a filter, filtered Essencia tube. Some more brass. Which I'm getting a little low on. Give me that hammer. So let's see, we need the slurry pump, two more brass plates, one, two, and go. Now that guy's going to go on the back right here, and he's going to need his own Alembic plus another one of these. So we need to make another Alembic. Uh, which I think I can just craft. I need a bucket. I have iron. Make a bucket. And then we needed what? We needed two more brass plates. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some more brass. Uh, that plus this. So this is going to go on top of this one. So basically what happens is it siphons out the extra. So if you have something that has a lot of things on it, it will just pull, part of it will go this direction and part of it will go that direction. So we need another filling thingy. Which you could hook pipes up to these things, I'm not going to. Um, filling. Sends you tube, so yeah, and we're now out of brass. So let's make some more brass. 
Brass was what? Just instrumentum and iron. So instrumentum. Uh, where the heck did my instrumental go? Did I use it all? Okay, well, that's fine. Flint. Um, there we go. Which I can go ahead and start actually processing that if I really wanted to, but I'm not gonna. We're just gonna do one, two, bang. It was just five, right? Yeah, okay. Quartz. Quartz, 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 quartz. I have five of them. That's probably not going to be near enough. Nope. That's okay. We don't need it. Uh, do this again. Do this again. And then goodbye. That's fine. That little poof is not going to hurt anything. <laughs> It's not going to hurt much. Why is my... That's interesting. My flux went down for some weird reason. Or my warp, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, anyhow. So that should get us the parts we need to make the next thing. So we need one more filling. Essentia tube, which is going to be that. So, one, two. We're filling Essentia thingy, majigger, whatever you call this thing. Transfuser. I need another dispenser, which I thought I had grabbed all those. Filling. There we go. Cool. You can go over here. And then before, like I said, before we fire this up, we're going to do some more work on this. So that means that I can now do the three, which we're going to, I guess we're just going to do three vents for right now. So let's see. A vent. Vent, 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 vent is going to be that. So we need at least one more of those. So we need to make one more set of those. This is going to be, this is going to be that. One, two. And then this is that. One more set of those. And then we need to, we should have a few filters. We have a few filters. I just need some more brass plates. So we need to make enough brass plates to make this. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And done. One, two, and we're going to have to wait on the thing to fill. These guys are basically just going to let off steam off the sides of this thing so that we don't have to worry about other bad stuff. So that's going to take a minute to fill back up. Uh, we, we can definitely work wait on this for a little bit. So let's go ahead and put that away and 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 that away. And now I want those jars. Give me those jars back. Jar, 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 jar. <laughs> uh let me see emptying i may have to move that thing emptying essentia smelter thing it's just a, a hopper in that and it's going to take a hundred uh let's do that while we've got it i'm going to need one hopper Trying to make this other system as efficient as possible. Emptying that. Go. Done. Now, this is going to be looking in a direction from it. And I think, let me see, uh, what is it? F3G. This is just probably going to be barely too far away from that, isn't it? Well, this is 16, 1, 2, yeah, it's going to be too far away from it. Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to have to move that one. Um, maybe we'll put him over there. Or maybe we put him right here. Shoot. Come here, you. Uh, magnets on, magnets on. Give me this thing. Let's waste a little sailus on that problem. We need to keep you within 16 blocks of those. So that should be either we can go right here, which I don't really want it right here, although it wouldn't really matter too much. Let's put him 
right there. That where where's the center? Is this the center? Yeah, we'll put it right there. In the dark. Pickaxe, go. Yellow Niter, down. Crucible, down. Two of those. One, two. Desail us. Give me some of that, please. Thank you. And we can get rid of that. Okay, so he's going to face this direction. We can put this on this side. It will see all of those just fine. Uh, 16 blocks in that direction. It's not more than 16 blocks this way. So now we can definitely start just regular crafting stuff as we start making things out of here. So do we have any more of the vents capable? I know I just used the parts for one of them. Let's get one of these on here. Go. And then I can basically do the silly, which is I can toss a bunch of that in there. That'll cook that down. And it'll fill the first critter over here. Let's do that so we can see what's going on right now. Noticed how pretty quick that was. So it's pretty awesome. I am going to go ahead and just kind of get through some of these. What are those things called? Essentia... Uh, what do they call these things? They're crystals. Why can't I see my crystals? Crystals, 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 crystals. Okay, metallum for sure. Uh, go ahead and smelt that up. Pretty quick, huh? <laughs> We're wasting a little, but not much. But that way we can process both of them at the same time. Should be able to see. Oh, I haven't checked you. You. Thank you. Okay, cool. And we're going to go ahead and put our labels on them so we know what they are. What else do we have for crystals? We have a bunch of Precantio crystals and a bunch of Potentia and a bunch more Metallum. And some of that, which I'm just going to hang on to for the moment. We'll go ahead and put that in there because I think we're going to need some of that anyway. So let's go ahead and cook you down. Every time it does that, it wastes a little bit. Cook some of that down. And then we'll be turning that one probably into a void jar. Once it gets to that point. How are we doing? Are we done? Okay, so that should have got all of those done. This is empty. That is empty. We're going to go ahead and do some potentia now. Go ahead, cook that up. Very cool. 59, 59, 25. I'm just going to go ahead and grab you right off the bat and just put you in here. And make that a void jar. Because I'm only going to ever want whatever that thing can hold. And I probably should do the same to that one. Because I'm only going to want whatever that one can hold. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Let's go get something else going on. Just the usual. I'm going to throw a stack of coal in that. That's going to take a minute to cook some of that down. But that should make us a bunch more potentia. As well as some more ignis. I'm probably going to have to make that a void jar. Give me that coal. Give me, give me, give me that coal. There's the Ignis. Excellent. Give me... What are we going to need that for? Potentia. Are we going to need anything for that? Uh, that's going to be Alumentum. That's going to be this infusion. Do we need it for this one? Does not look like that. We're going to go ahead and make you a void jar for now. Cool. Go ahead, cook that up because I want to fill the other one up. All right, so that's part of the fun that goes along with this mess. See, now because I've done that, and once we get enough of the materials over here, so like I really should actually be cooking some of this. Let's put that in there.
Yeah, we're making a mess, I know. Where's the vent? Can I make the other vent? Uh, where is my brass? Am I out of brass already again? No, I keep putting it away. One, two, vent. Cool, and go, then that's fine. Oh, come on. I thought I could put that on the face of it. No? Well, I just wasted a bunch of stuff. We can make more of this if we need to. That's fine. Whatever. I thought I could put that on the face of that. I think I can put it on the bottom. Can I put the bellow on the... Why in the world is my pick... Where's my pickaxe? Oh, there it is. My pickaxe not in my inventory. Can I put you on the face of this? You work, you connect, vent. Give me that vent. Huh. I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, put the bellows back down. You're good enough for now. Cool. All right, so. That should have got us some more of this, so we're going to go ahead and place that down and cook some more of that. But because we have this now and this now, I should be able to do this. Brass ingot. That's so cool. All right. Okay, so that's neat. Now we've got that thing sorted. The reason why I'm so excited about this is because we've been needing a couple of things. Mainly a spider eye, which is going to be only made in that little machine over there with Census, Perdicio, Vinculum, and an Eye of Ender. I know this sounds odd, but I would like a handful of bones at this point. And bones are made with a stick and mortis, which is totally doable. So I'm going to be making a few of these. And the blaze rods right here are ignis and a stick, which we could actually, not that I really need the blaze rod right now, but let me get a stick. Do we have any sticks? I have some sticks. Let's drop that off and this off and that off and this off and that off. And oh my goodness, my inventory is a mess. Um, put that away, put that away. We're going to hang on to you and I can run over here now and take this and go, Hey, I need you to make me some blaze rods. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. I love it. I love it. There we go. Blaze rods. Neat. All right. So, uh, the other thing that I want to do for that dude is I want to have him have a few more recipes. And I think that is going to be the mnemonic matrix, which is going to require amber, which I don't know how to make at this point. Smelting, crusher. I have a feeling this is going to be another one of those sap into time machine to five minutes oh great yeah we need to start looking at the time machine which the time machine is pretty simple easy to make we just need to make one of those stick or two eh, do that time machine Time machine, time machine, time machine. These things are a pain in the rear tail, but that's okay because we can speed them up and make things happen. So, all right, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go set this guy over here where I have a decent amount of power. And there's a couple of things I want to put in that. I think. I'm getting sidetracked, I know. But there should be a few things that we need to put into here. Diamonds. This is going to be crude oil. This thing right here. Where is my void seed? I have two void seeds, which the uses on these guys. We're going to need to get those going as well. 
Um, uses on these, we need to make a phytogenic insulator that is going to get us at least this chance here. So I'm going to have to start doing the flux phyto grow. And this is how you get your void seeds so that you can do void vapors so that we can do other processes. I think there is a recipe in here right there. Yeah, liquid chorus. Dragon's breath, liquid chorus. Dragon's breath is a thing that I think we need for what? I think there was a reason for this. I don't remember exactly what it was. We're going to have to look at that anyway. Uh, this guy's going to start playing a big process here. We're going to have to start setting him up. There are various recipes that we need to look at as far as that's concerned. So let's go back over here. Stop being sidetracked. We need to start crafting some of the things that go with this process. So the dragon head has to be crafted in an infusion system so that means we need to make the infusion matrix so matrix is one of those so we're just going to need some arcane stone brick some arcane stone which is going to be stuff like that so stone grab a stack of that and no not this i need this give me this all of that please thank you Oh, like that and this since we have a bit of that we're just going to do that okay cool get a bunch of that going and then i need this right let me see let's not screw this up so i need four of those so that and i need one of those aluminum or the aluminum things the niters so i just need a piece of glowstone Run over here, pop the glowstone in there, and we need to cook some torches, so cook some torches. Do that, please. And then we should be done there already. So we need to get one of those going. This should be the matrix. Very nice. And then we need a bunch of pedestals. Let me see if I can remember how to make a pedestal. Pedestals are going to be made with stone slabs. Oh, okay. Well, give me some of this. That. Oh, come on. Slab. One, two, three. There. Too many. I don't care. We need to make a few pedestals. Put that over there. Put this down. Six is not going to be enough. We're going to need more than that. I'll have to make more of these as we go. Let's get the stupid thing set up. So the... Uh, where are we? Matrix, 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 matrix. Infusion matrix is going to be... The structure should just be what? Uh, the matrix, a brick. Just eight of these, eight arcane stones. So I want to place you in the dead center of this platform, which should be that block right there and this block right here. Looks good enough to me. And then the normal. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, and then a block, and then the matrix. Break that out, and some of this stuff. Sweet. And then we're going to just drop a few of these down here so that we can do various things. I'm going to have to make a bunch of these because I think there's like 12 or 13 different things to make the dragon head. Where is it? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in, eventually we're going to have to make 12 of these. So this, this is not going to get a whole lot of usage at this point, but there is going to be some other things that we're going to do with it prior to it. Especially I'm going to need to get some of the tools because I want a few of the tools just, just to have to hold all that kind of neat stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and just make some more of those. How many am I short to have at least that many? Wow. I can't do a thing. Correct. Correct. There we go. Um, need one more, don't I? 
All right, cool. So that'll at least get me the first eight, which will allow me to craft a few things. And then we're going to have to get into stabilization. And yes, I know I need to make the silly little gauntlet thingy, wherever the gauntlet thingy is. Um, that thing, I have to make one of these, which is one of those. So I guess let's, <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and I call it here for the time being. I will probably not be doing much in between episodes once again, because I think we're just going to try to rock out a couple of these today. So I thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.